Ladies and gentlemen, in today's echo uh, clip, we will discuss a patient who has a history of atrial fibrillation. You can see that the left atrium is widely dilated. Uh, it's about 51 millimeters, so it's grossly dilated. And uh, also, if we look at the valve, the marrow valve appears non-calcified, and there are uh, the changes are not consistent with rheumatic uh, heart disease, but there is moderate mitral stenosis as evident from this color doppler image uh, it doesn't appear to be eccentric but it's all uh, doesn't uh, central uh, too but uh, we can see that it's uh, there and when we put the m mode cursor on the mitral web leaflets we take this image so there is no prolapse but however as the patient is in atrial fibrillation so there is and there is no uh, typical mitral uh, aromatic mitral stenotic changes that is the effacement of e to f uh, slope etc in the parasternal short axis view the mitral valve opening is not the typical uh, fish mouth it's opening and uh, the uh, opening is uh, when we measured it in the short axis the 2d area was around about 2.5 uh, sorry, it was more than three, and when the uh, pers uh, the epical uh, four chamber view is taken, here is the picture in your in front of you. There is magic uh, marble stenosis. All the chambers are particularly both the atria are dilated, not uh, the ventricles. Uh, the ventricles appear to be of normal uh, dimensions, both of them. Um, so again, this is the color Doppler image showing the mitral steno, uh, regurgitation and there is also a moderate uh, tricuspid regurgitation all right the peak gradient across my, the tricuspid valve was 41 millimeters roughly and the calculated right ventricular systolic pressure was uh, around about 56 millimeters of mercury uh, okay and uh, so uh, definitely this patient needs further workup uh, and uh, as the atria are dilated and uh, the ventricles are of normal size so one differential that comes into mind is the restrictive cardiomyopathy so for that purpose we uh, will refer this patient for further imaging uh, and uh, at the moment uh, the patient definitely needs anticoagulation and uh, control of heart rate for more interesting videos on echocardiography, I will recommend you to please subscribe to the channel and uh, thank you.